Okay, everybody, this is an instructional video from Mr. Brackett about adding IPTV services to your computer. Uh, IPTV stands for Internet Protocol Television. Uh, we have a new IPTV system that I've been working on all year. Uh, I think the bugs are out, and so I'd like to show you how to do this. Um, the details of this install uh, have been sent to you in an email, and so if you need printed instructions, use that email. Uh, this video is instructional and should help you get a sense of what's going to be involved. Um, be sure to read that email though because it has specifics that I may or may not go over here. Now, the first thing you're going to need to do is install a program called VLC. Uh, and I'll show you VLC. It's already on my computer. VLC is a media player. It's going to uh, play different kinds of media. You can use VLC to play DVDs. You can use VLC to play uh, video files that you have on your computer for whatever reason. Uh, you can use VLC to do all kinds of stuff. Um, and it's going to look like this. Uh, mine is downloading an update, so don't pay any attention to that. This is the VLC interface. Um, and you probably won't use VLC uh, a whole lot. Uh, most people like other programs for doing uh, DVD playing and things like that. Uh, I use VLC all the time because it is solid and it doesn't come with any uh, extra uh, stuff uh, that um, you don't want your media player to have. But uh, VLC is going to be something that you're going to need to install. And in the email, uh, that I sent you are you instructions on where to get VLC but I'll do that here as well you're gonna look on the file server and you're gonna look in the shared folder of the file server and you're gonna look in my tech folder uh, in the shared folder on the file server and in that folder there is an IPTV folder and in there no scratch that I'm going to the wrong place um, file slash shared slash tech slash VLC dash 2.0.5 dash win32.exe Oops, my bad. So, here we go. Uh, this is the run uh, that you're going to want to run. I'll save that installation for just a minute you're going to hit that and you're going to hit OK. And you're going to get a file security warning. This is a secure file. It's on our file server. I put it there. So feel free to say run. Um, and so you're going to, it's going to say, are you sure you want to run it? Uh, and you won't get this warning. It's warning me that media player has already been installed. Uh, you're not going to get this warning. Instead, Instead, you're going to get something like this. It's not going to say 2.1.3, it's going to say 2.0.5, uh, but the installer is pretty much the same. Uh, you're going to click next, and next, and yes, and install, and just answer all questions from the installer in the affirmative. Uh, you'll eventually see a progress bar, looks a lot like this, um, it may be identical in fact. Uh, then you're going to end up with a screen that says, do you want to run? Uh, you can if you want to, you don't need to, uh, just clicking finish will end out the program. Uh, you'll notice a new shortcut on your desktop, VLC Media Player. Uh, if you don't intend on using VLC to do things like play DVDs or play video files, you could take that right off your desktop because uh, you don't need it. Um, what really happened that's important for our IPTV system is uh, the installation of a web browser add-on uh, that interfaces with the VLC program. Uh, so, according to the email that I sent, you are halfway done. Uh, the other thing that you need to do now is to do the IPTV shortcut web page, I should say, uh, the web page that I've made. Uh, you're going to get there by going to file1 slash shared slash tech 
slash IPTV slash ECPS underscore IPTV dot HTML. This is a web page that I made. It's very simple. You won't be impressed. But um, it's going to open in whatever web browser you have said is your default. Um, I believe mine. Um, I don't know which one mine is. Um, not that one. Uh, not that one. We'll see which one it opens in. Um, theoretically. Oh, it's thinking. Computer's thinking. It's thinking. It's time. So. Why is it taking so long, you ask? I don't know. It probably will take this long uh, when you're doing it, um, theoretically. I'm going to go about this a different way. Um, you don't have to pay attention at this point. Wow, my computer is being goofy. Uh, who knows why? Um, so, eventually, this is what's going to pop up. This is the ECPS IPTV. That's half the alphabet right there. ECPS IPTV uh, webpage. Uh, it's very simple. You see, it doesn't uh, look fancy. It's really just an interface for you to get to certain places. Um, you'll see. Uh, these uh, channels are available. Boomerang, uh, which is a cartoon channel. CNN, which is obviously news programming. ESPN, which is obviously sports programming. CBS, which is local news programming. And then these two channels down here, the Liebrook channel and the ECHS slash ECMS channel. Uh, these two down here are closed circuit television uh, channels, uh, which are reserved for future use. Uh, once I get that uh, closed circuit system up and running. These are all links. The images are, uh, not the text, but the images. If I click on one of these images with VLC installed, uh, what's going to happen is um, I'm going to head to a new page. And that new page is going to be um, a new page will sometimes fail. Wonder what's going on. I'm on the verge of shutting this whole thing off and testing before my next video recording. Let's try another one. Man, this is awful. It's horrible. Oh, look, that web page that I executed from the run command finally opened in Firefox. Apparently Firefox is my default browser. Oh, so here, this is kind of what it should look like. And there you go. So I clicked on the Boomerang channel, and now I have Boomerang. Um, then I can go back and click on CBS, and uh, the CBS channel should come up. It'll open in a small window. Uh, inside your browser, which is what you just saw with the boomerang um, example. Um, this one's taking a while. There we go. So you're able to full screen this uh, by clicking on the toggle full screen button. Let's mute that. Uh, volume controls are here. Obviously, I just muted it. Um, if you pause it, uh, it will stop the stream, uh, but then once you hit play again, um, it's not going to pick up where you left off. It's going to pick up where the current stream is. Um, so uh, you're able to maximize. Uh, you're able to go back with your browser's back button to our uh, page. 
So that's ESPN. Um, so you should be able to access these channels uh, once you've installed VLC. Um, assuming your system is working correctly, which apparently mine isn't. Um, so yeah, uh, what you'll want to do, you can create a shortcut on your desktop. New shortcut. Uh, you can create a shortcut to file one slash shared slash blah 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 all that uh, you could call it ecps underscore ip tv uh, and then you've got this shortcut on your desktop you can double click that shortcut and be taken back uh, through the browser of your choice to uh, the ecps ip tv system um, there we go again uh, it wants to know if no never so there we go um, if you have any questions, let me know, and I would be happy to help you guys out. Oh, yeah, one more thing before I go. Uh, right now, today is the 24th of April. Uh, right now, if you attempt doing this on a wireless computer, like one of the teacher laptops, um, it will probably fail because our wireless speed uh, today is not very fast. Um, but we are working on a upgrade which will take place during the first week first couple of weeks of May and so if you're on a wireless device uh, in the second half of the month of May uh, that wireless device is going to be faster uh, than it is now uh, you can get IPTV on a Ethernet device uh, right now because our Ethernet is very fast uh, it's a faster infrastructure right now than wireless is but uh, upgrades are coming uh, so just understand that if you try this on a wireless device it's probably going to fail until the, the third or fourth week of May um, and you can access ECPS IPTV uh, right away on an Ethernet device um, so if you have any questions let me know thanks for listening